Hey, so in this video I show you how to make a jalapeno cheddar sausage. Um, on the meat side, as always, my typical sausage mixture. You can either use pork butt or I'm using uh, pork back fat and lean pork shoulder. And for the spices and other ingredients, I'm using a sharp cheddar. And then for this video shoot, I had no jalapenos. Typically I use jalapenos, but it also works with pepperoni or other spicy peppers. Uh, and then some parsley uh, gives it a bit of freshness uh, to all this fatty yeah, sausage. And then for the spices, I'm using salt, pepper, sugar and some garlic powder. The sugar is not to make it super sweet, but it yeah, also complements it very nicely. Um, so yeah, definitely add it, uh, helps it a bit caramelized later on. So yeah, wonderful addition. And I would say let's start with making the sausage. As always, cut your pieces into cubes or strips that fit your meat grinder later on. And then once you're ready, um, put it in the freezer and freeze it for one to two hours. In the meantime, you can cut the jalapenos. You could also uh, grind them later on. I cut the jalapenos and parsley and also the cheese by hand, but you could also uh, add it to the meat grinder. Uh, the thing that changes is the texture and the distribution of the cheese throughout the sausage. So completely up to you. As for the grinding process, I'm using the medium perforated disc. You can go finer or coarser, completely up to you. I personally recommend to grind it once through the medium perforated disc. That's my preferred texture, but you do you. Once the meat is ground up, uh, we can start mixing in the spices, the salt, the parsley, and make sure it has a really nice binding. You can either do it by hand or use a hand mixer. And then you can get the cheese pieces in. If it's too sticky, you can add a bit of water. Make sure that it's evenly distributed. And now it's time to fill the sausage. I'm using pork casings, caliber 2830. Uh, if you want to go uh, smaller, you could also use sheep casings, but then also make sure that the cheese uh, is cut smaller because otherwise it will not fit. Then it's time to link the sausages. And once you're done with it, um, I'm now doing two variants. Uh, one I'm just using for grilling and the other one I'm smoking. For this uh, first, I'm letting dry the sausage at 50 C, which is 122 F. And then I smoke it at 70 C, which is around 158 F for around two hours. And the core temperature should be around that after the two hours. Otherwise you can uh, poach it in a water bath um, until it reach the desired target temperature. And there we have it. Um, this is the one which I grilled up, uh, fried up in a pan actually. Didn't even use a barbecue for it or a grill. Um, let's cut it open. Yeah, and it looks wonderful. You have the cheese bits and then also the parsley. I would say, yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> wow, yeah, I, I can tell you, uh, this alone tastes super fragrant. The spices come out, come through very nicely. The cheese is there. It's not too harsh. Um, also, the smoked one was very delicious. As always, the full recipe can be found below. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There are weekly sausage videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.